looks insane. What the fuck? <laughs>
would like to purchase. <laughs> Happy half birthday, Rose. Half birthday. I just want to find my daughter. World premiere. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. Precious Rose. Yeah, as much as I like the game of the first person. So long as we were together. The action looks better in third person. Oh man. I'm so sorry. I love you. Dad. Let's go, Rose. Lisa Trevor. No matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable. I love you, but I won't let anything happen to Rose. I've got this. They can after a dead. <laughs> She's Elsa. <laughs> Don't ruin Resident Evil for me. I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director of the Winter's Expansion. Thank you for your service. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. And in the end, you see how she's grown. What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore, so we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. Said you had something important to tell me? Well, she's not going to do anything as a kid. <laughs> she's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. So the setting this time is the realm of consciousness, going back one more time to that village. Cheers for the look, Boba Bell. The word nightmare is synonymous with fear. For instance, if you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll or something else similarly so completely unrealistic, can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from the kind okay. of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. We wanted to choose characters that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would I'm be interested in Duke playing a different type of character. Took over by the mold in some way. There are characters called lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing um, skills and attacks that a regular human could not. What they call being able to play them was more the mini mega so that's why we that were characters. embedded in the four people. We balance yeah, it's definitely not ensure himself that unless he's always been like that. Waiting for enemies to appear. We don't know yet. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. Oh my god. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. In an FPS, you experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first-person perspective. 
they might not enjoy the FPS genre. Yeah. So we wanted to make a third-person mode for those players to enjoy the game to its fullest. They should have put the option in to start well, with. there's still a sense of immersion and fear with a third-person perspective. When the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it creates, which is a very different experience. I think third-person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? We gave that question some thought. So even in third-person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away, and you're not quite able to get a good look. <laughs> Absolute shit, she takes these. <laughs> Each of the three editions are interesting in their own way, and we hope you really enjoy the expansion. Please look forward to it. Thank you. I don't think they'll they switch in. It'll probably just be fixed from the start. Now we have an amazing announcement for you. Starting today, a demo for the third person mode will be available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This yeah, demo boy. can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third person mode or the previously existing first person mode. Oi. <laughs> will premiere. Mission adjustment? No. Doesn't change anything. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. Let's have some fun, people. Move out. Yes, sir. I've actually got news on our reverse. Okay. This actually looks a lot better than before. Resident Still no Evil release date. Reverse is free content for those who own Resident <laughs> Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. Yeah, this game has cross -play. Just been working you on can it. Fight players across all platforms. Those Close who play. already nice. own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting October 24th. Additionally, updates are planned for Resident Evil R Reverse after it has been officially released. Here are some details for the when, early access and updates. When is the release date? <laughs> <laughs> Resident Evil Village will be playable on even more platforms. Hello, everyone. My yeah, name is Jeremy Sandler, break and I'm part of the this. GQ software team at Apple. During the keynote at our Worldwide Developers Conference, Capcom announced Resident Evil I Village think it's more coming to the Mac later this year. A beta test for the online, of the power and performance not just early access. We couldn't be more excited that the game will be available to Mac users around the world beginning Friday, October 28th. A Mac. Resident Evil Village is the first okay. project based on Capcom's RE engine to support the Mac and runs natively on Apple Silicon. <laughs> and since the game is optimized to take Stadia's advantage of already metal dead. features like metal effects up it's gone. gameplay is incredibly responsive. With yeah, I don't know why it's taking so long videos. unless this means that every Mac from MacBook Air did they have crossplay in the first release? Resident Evil Village with ease. Stay tuned they might have just been like, soon. let's put crossplay in. Let's add all this other stuff in. That's why we've not heard anything about it for Hello everyone. I am however Nagano long. From Ubitus. <laughs> and I am Yonatani from Ubitus. It is a great honor to be taking part in this global project of the Resident Evil franchise on cloud with Capcom. With the launch of the cloud version, not only fans from Japan, but from all over the world can play the game on Nintendo Switch yep, and without half. thinking about the download time. The application size is small, but the users can experience smooth gameplay of up to 60 FPS while playing it in multiple modes that Nintendo Switch offers, such as TV mode, tabletop mode, and handheld mode. Okay, it is Todd great Howard. to be able to focus on the gameplay without thinking about storage space or the download time. You can also check your network environment by playing the demo before you pre-order or purchase the game. 
Well, at least they've got a demo for it the so you can, can be pre or make sure it actually works properly. This is to make sure that those who are playing a cloud game for the first time, or may have concerns, can test it and enjoy the game. With 5G mobile network technology being so widespread recently, the barrier between installing the game and playing it on cloud is getting smaller and smaller. We hope you will enjoy it and marvel at the technology. But Switch doesn't of have a 5G SIM card slot. Through the release of Resident Evil Village Cloud. It's got Wi Fi. <laughs> Resident Evil Village Cloud will be available on October 28th, and the Winter's Expansion DLC will follow on December 2nd. Furthermore, RE2 Cloud will launch on November 11th, followed by the RE3 Cloud on November 18th, and RE7 Cloud will be available on December 16th. Bit of a weird release schedule for that. <laughs> How delightful. Such delectable information ought to be savored. <laughs> What's that? You want more? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what a greedy thing you are. No, it's quite all right. You become I'd like to see a healthy appetite. I'll do my best to sate your hunger. Come, have a look at this. Here we go. It's what we're waiting for. On again. Ashley looks great. Hello, everyone. They've improved I'm the her model so of much. Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. We will. Just give it to us. <laughs> what about the ballistics? <laughs> Oh, it looks so good. How far could he have gone? Anyone home? The reflections on the jacket. <laughs> Is that man bear pig? It's man bear pig. Just be putting on a more uh, older voice. No fucking way. Ah. <laughs> that looks great. The plugs are already coming out. Here, what's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are. Jump out the window, Leon. We gotta go. Talk Jump out the window, Leon.
Oh man. Oh, they brought back quick time events. My actual nemesis, quick time events. Kill me for the later. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this ain't a game for vegans. <laughs> There he is, Dr. Salvador. He does not give a shit. I like that UI. Send of that shotgun was good. Oh my god, he looks insane. What did you think? <laughs> As you just saw, we are paying respect to the original game's world while implementing new ideas and state of the art graphics to strengthen oh, the core concepts of the title. We think this game will provide a fresh experience with a sense of familiarity if you play the original that both newcomers and veterans to Resident Evil 4 will enjoy. I, I am hype. No I am so happy. The Ganados will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his they mission. They just hold you while the chainsaw with guys come in. Even greater variety of methods than in the original release. Leon fights back with firearms, close yeah, combat new maneuvers, a newly added barrier using his knife, and more. <laughs> Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. Just as in the original, using the attaché oh. case effectively will be key. In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition I, and I other items. So happy right now. Over here, stranger. Yes, of course, he's back. We can't forget the merchant. Something new for you. You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas and modernizing the play field. Now I'd like to share Looks some new information terrifying. regarding this product's release. We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available on PlayStation 4, in addition to PlayStation 5, sure Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, and PC. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players looking for more than the standard edition. The first is the Deluxe Edition, which will be available for all platforms. This includes additional content, such as costumes, special weapons, a treasure map, and more. Well, I'm getting that. <laughs> Next is the physical-only Collector's Edition. <laughs> this edition includes the contents of the Deluxe Edition, as well as a Leon figure, a special map, art book, soundtrack, and more. 
I want it. Also, pre-orders start today. Yes. If you pre-order the standard edition, you'll receive the gold attaché case, case gold and special charm handgun ammo. Uh, I need to pre-order. If you pre-order the deluxe edition or collector's edition, <laughs> you'll receive the standard edition pre-order bonuses as well as attaché case classic and special charm green. Oh my herb. god. If you so, pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive PlayStation get an extra stuff. Come on. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. And Sony Moon and Bay Xbox so getting exclusives and shit. We are working Fuck hard off. to create a game that everyone will enjoy. So please, look forward to it. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Oh. Let's take a look. A demo. The actual trailer. You're here looking for him, someone? Maybe some missing senorita? Yes, Luis. Ashley, where are you? Oh, Your soul soul new design. Requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. I'm here in the president's quarters and... What is that? What do we do? The last lambs are escaping. Okay, she's a thousand times better now. I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop she, right She's a thousand there. times. Ada. Who are you? Yes. What are you doing here? My faith is show her the path. Ashley, run! Oh my fucking god, El Gigante. The entire world shall overflow with these grains. What's happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leads a girl. She's lost no matter what. Now that he has chosen death. Alessar looks fucking insane. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I need that in my eyeballs, in my veins, and in my ass all at the same time. <laughs> Did you enjoy the Resident Evil Showcase? Let's recap. First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition that launches looks on Friday, absolutely October amazing. If you already own Resident Evil I've Village, been thoroughly you can purchase the entertained. Winter's Expansion <laughs> DLC separately. The Winter's Expansion includes three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy the main game in a new perspective. The powered up, the mercenaries additional orders. And the new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Uh, don't remind me about oh, Salazar yes. Mech. <laughs> a demo for the third person mode will be available today. I'm don't hoping forget, to have him there in some fashion. The just early access light. period for Resident Evil are reverse begins the exact October 24th same as it was in the original. The village. Resident Evil Village Cloud, playable on Nintendo Switch via a cloud service, will be available starting October 28th. Resident that was a Evil bit 2, too much. Resident Evil 3, <laughs> and Resident Evil 7 are also coming to Nintendo Switch via cloud at a later date. Also, the map well, version of Resident shown Evil there Village will be released on October 28th. Absolutely perfect. The newest entry in the series, Actually, Resident it's a Evil thousand 4, times better. on Friday, March 24th, 2023, and you can pre-order it today. We hope you look forward to it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. And Leon looks more well, mature. Well, looks like you've had your fill. With such a grand display, I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another. No pre-orders, no, I'll, I'll have to for this. Chap, but his information is good. And I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. 
I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. Thank you, Duke. Well, as I just said, I have been thoroughly sports entertained by that. <laughs> he said something back here, but I was well, talking, so let like me just play it back again. Fill. With such a grand display, I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. An odd I'm just talking about the other merchants. And I shouldn't say anymore. Yeah, let's see uh, what Max is saying on the matter. <laughs> uh, I need the 30k version of the trailer, Capcom. You understand yes. that, right? <laughs> I need it. Uh, gameplay trailer.